Hey guys, welcome back for another great video. So today it's about six anime like the day I became a god you must watch. It's a slice of life comedy, drama and science fiction anime. If you already enjoyed the day I became a god, you will absolutely enjoy this list as well. Six different anime are similar and with the same style. So for more details, let's jump to the next part of the video. But before we get started, I appreciate if you first take a second to subscribe to the channel and smash even that like button. So without any further ado, let's get started guys. Starting with the first anime, The Melancholy of Haruhu Suzumiya, with a total of 14 episodes, each one will last about 23 minutes. At first glance, Suzumiya Hirohi is a high school student like any other, pretty and intelligent, but when she declares in front of her whole class, in a very serious way, that only aliens, time travels, or espers interest her, and that she has nothing to do with the humans, Kion, intrigued by this girl so different, will be the only one to speak to her, and will give her the idea of creating her own club. This is how the SOS Brigade was born, led by Hirohi and very quickly joined by Kion, but also by Nagato, a girl who only reads without saying a word, Mikuru, shy and fearful, who will act as a mascot and Koizumi, a mysterious and always smiling boy, apparently they are not there by accident. For the second anime ground control to psycholoetric girl with a total of 12 episodes that will take you about 24 minutes each one. The story begins with Makoto Niwa is a high school student like any other. Since his parents are on a business trip abroad, he lives with his aunt and decides to lead the quiet life of a typical Japanese teenager. However, his plan had not taken into consideration his mysterious cousin, Eryo Toa. Her cousin had been missing for half a year and was found floating in the sea. From that day on, she no longer remembers what had happened. Makoto lives his life quietly until one day rumors spread throughout the city that aliens have been seen. Eryo then confesses to Makoto that the aliens are watching over her because she is like them, an alien and that the earth had been targeted. For the anime number 3, Arakawa Under the Bridge, with a total of 13 episodes that will last for 24 minutes each one. Ko Ishinomiya, nicknamed Riko, is a young person who is a part of the elite, in fact he is the heir of a large global company, the Ishinomiya company, which has for principle not to create debts toward people. Unfortunately, all does not go as planned because a young girl named Nino saves his life while he tries to retrieve his pants on a bridge. The most surprising thing is that this mysterious young girl lives under the bridge over the Arakawa River. How would he go about paying off this huge debt? Anime number 4. Love, Shinibuyo and Other Delusions with a total of 12 episodes that will take you about 24 minutes each one. Tugashi Yoda is a boy who suffered from Shinibuyu at a younger age, that is he invented a fictitious life for himself and distanced himself from others, believing himself to be superior to them and believing that he was endowed with his supernatural powers. But today Yoda is ashamed of his past and tries to start from scratch in high school, indeed he shows a high school where no one knows him and begins to make friends from the start. However, he meets the Kanashi Rika, a student in his class who will still suffers a lot from Shinibuyu. She discovers her past and will try to drag her into his imaginary world. Will you manage not to dive back into Shinibuyu? Anime number 5. Kinagi, Crazy Shrine Maidens, with a total of 13 episodes that will last for only 24 minutes each episode. The day statute made by a high school student turns into a beautiful young lady, Jen sees everything around him change, indeed the wood of his scripture actually came from a sacred tree inhabited by a goddess named Nagi who was there in order to watch over the neighborhood. The high school student must now house the goddess. For the last anime number 6, Spice and Wolf, with a total of 13 episodes, every single one will take you about 24 minutes. 
Okami Tokoshinoryo recounts the adventures of Lawrence Kraft, a traveling merchant who has dreamed for seven years that he has been traveling on the roads to one day open his own shop while passing through Passero, a city where he does some business. He falls in the middle of the Harvest Festival. This festival pays homage to Wolf, the divinity of the harvest who allows the peasants to have a good harvest. But times change, agriculture involves and the field don't really need the divine Horo anymore, so she decides to go back home to the northern forest. Will Horo succeed in reaching her homeland? Will Lawrence make her dream come true? The path of the wolf and the merchant will cross in a medieval era full of conspiracies, cheating and betrayals. So this is it for now guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you are interested for more similar videos, just check out the channel day by day. But anyway guys, thanks so much for supporting me and I wish you all a great day.